in there, trying to see where he is on every play. Tulane a season ago was 40% on third down. Can they convert here? They're going to tie it in. The pitch, and there goes Taron Ankala. Ankala inside of the 30. He's dropped near the 25. No flags. First down, Tulane. Second 15 now for Banks. Fakes the handoff. And a bit of trouble, and Wake Forest does a great job to get in there and wrap him up. Chris Calhoun, a loss of four on the play. Yards or so to really be in good field goal range. Five yards to be at the edge of field goal range. Need to get down to the 26-yard line to convert. Banks taking a shot down that far sideline. And Bassey was on the coverage there. It was Taron Ankala, the intended target for the game for Wake Forest. Hartman gives off. Tough run there. Mouthpiece flying out there is Cade Carney, who is their physical bruiser, and you just saw it there. You've got to be able to get these short yardage situations. That's for third in the country, that number. Tough play and the catch. Number 10, Sam Hartman. As Hartman Complete. fires it in there, Lewis 14. on the coverage, and the grab Safe. is made. Going as a young quarterback. Now this Wake Forest offense trying to get that tempo going. They play out. There's another one for Surratt. They talked to us yesterday about him, and they love his upside so potential. He comes through here with two big catches. Safety. But it puts a lot of pressure on that nose tackle in the middle. Third and three, huge play for Wake Forest. Can they keep it alive over the middle? They can't. Beautiful lick delivered there originally by Moody, and Lewis came in and finished him off. We're not in those situations. End of a yard, second and nine. Slithers his way through there to bring up a third and short, but a yard. And at his teams have hit their stride in year four. Third and short now. Good work there, keeping those legs turning. And the green wave keep the wave going. Red made the stop there. And we're on third down conversions. Thanks. Floats it. Uncaught there. Got sandwich made the catch. Two of them there. Red's been all over the field for Wake, but a first down after a gain of 16, Jay. Put down and two or less. Good throw. They're going to be short, though. The ball will be spotted at the 38-yard line. That was Mooney with the catch, Darnell Mooney. So can you kick this, or do you got to go for it, Listen, Jay? Listen, you were 64% last year. 60. Lock on once again, his third punt of the night so far. George will get out of the way. Can Tulane down this again? Devin Glenn's down there. It took a bad bounce, but they're still going to pin him deep as Devin Glenn, the track star, showing his speed there. Start from the 10-yard line. Their last drive was their best so far in the game. Hartman taking a shot near side. Got a man out there! And Surratt, he has come up big with a beautiful catch to the 47-yard line. So third and seven now. Hartman trying to keep the drive alive. Fires, catch again made by Surratt. He's going to get the forward progress, and they'll move the sticks, Jay, to the 41. Sage Surratt getting it done. Why not feed the hot hand? He's got another first down. Tackle made by Jalen Monroe. Got it going. Takes the handoff. They go to the tight end that's in the game, replacing Frudenthal. Effort from last year, looking good on this drive. Same number, just a freshman and John Wolford, a senior. But they look good on this drive. The best they've looked here is... Side, disciplined defense outside to make the play. Lawrence Graham finished them off. Here's Hartman now, still with it, and gets what he could and got out of bounds. And it's gonna be first and goal to the nine yard line. Smart play by the freshman, not speedy top, it's man coverage. Dangerous weapon instead, Colburn trying to power his way. You can hear that all the way up here. DeAndre Williams. That was a big hit there, and you got a big third down. Here we go, Hartman, and it's incomplete. Dorch wanted the flag, and on the coverage. Was Chanel again. Set all the records at Wake Forest. Here goes Skiba. Can he get it done? No, he missed it. Pushed it right. After a beautiful drive by their freshman quarterback, Sam Hartman in the offense, and they could knock it through. And that's the road trip facts. Hartman 
Approaching 100 yards. Looked very good last drive. Getting into a rhythm here. Finds Dorch first down. Pick up a 13. Finally finds Dorch. He only had one catch. That's his second. And you saw the results. Third down and eight for Hartman. Got time. Loads and fires. It's intercepted. It's picked off. Donnie Lewis came up with it. Teams make conversions. They need the 39-yard line to keep the drive alive. Float it up, and a dangerous pass out there. DJ Taylor almost had that one. And create lanes, he's done an excellent job so far. And he's a guy that was recruited as Carney breaks free, and still charging. Kate Carney, their bruiser, picks up about eight, but just to finish that thought on Johnson. He gets pushed to the side, and creates a running lane. And Forrest goes fast, and they've got the first down to move the sticks. Got it more on the last drive. Hartman, quick throw, Dorch gets a block, cuts through, sidesteps, another would-be tackler. And he's out close to the first down. The starters, get the short yardage plays through your run game. And try it here with Cade Carney, and he'll do it. He played a year of high school ball at Dick. What a coaching resume he's got. Hartman now on the run. His latest prize pupil. Hartman still with it. A decent pickup there for the freshman. Just a better defensive play by Keats. Third and five, Hartman. Under pressure, got it away, and he got it to Carney. I'll tell you what, Carney, he's been impressive tonight. That's what you need for a young quarterback. Here he goes, takes it. He got a bump in and took a heavy shot. From Roderick Teamer there. Ooh. Night. He didn't come in in August. Slow developing play. The bullet delivered. The catch is made. And it's Bachman with a catch for a first down. Top of your screen. He's the second guy back Watch there. the quarterback draw. There it is. Hartman Ooh. took a heavy hit again. Teamer in there again for the second time on this drive. Way wide. They like to run that quarterback draw. Third and five. Hartman fires, caught, touchdown! The catch is made by Alex Bachman. The senior out of Westlake Village, California. A 10 yard strike from number 10. The first career touchdown. What surprised you the most? I'm surprised by the play of Sam Hartman. He did not look like a freshman out there. Touch, strength, throwing the ball with decisiveness. I thought he's looked really good. 10 yard touchdown for Hartman. Tulane will get. The second half kickoff trailing 7-0. That's the end of the first half. Wake Forest on top by seven. Great to have you with us. You're watching college football right here on CBS Sports Network. They tricked him, so it's been tough sledding so far. Yeah, they've got 10 starters back. The only one not back as Moody makes the catch on a well-thrown ball from Banks. The only one not back on this offense is Dontrell Hilliard. I mean, they scored 30 or more last year four times as well. This offense is capable as Ancelot makes the grab to the 48-yard line of Wake Forest. What here that Tulane desperately needs for their sake. Hutterson's got it. They're on the left end, they're going to give him the progress. He was wrestled down there by Sternad. Well swung out, the running back in open space, and they're going to take Banks down. Excellent job. Everybody stayed home. Sternad with a takedown there of Jonathan Banks. Maybe the 37-yard line of Wake Forest. Banks under pressure again. Throws on the run. Got a man up. There's Mom Lisa, their family's up there watching. Good to know they represent the Mitten. My favorite state. As Surratt makes a catch, he's got the first down. Stop made by Donnie Lewis. So low where your receiver can catch it. Second and ten. Hartman. Take the hand off. Took a shot. Flag comes in. Back near midfield. Personal foul, face mask, number 26 of the defense. 15-yard penalty automatic, first down. Diamond in the rough at running back. 
Hartman. He might be a diamond, and he's had a diamond in the rough. He's a diamond that's showing his shining colors tonight so far. The true freshman, one of five starting around the country. New Orleans, second down. Hartman's got it, finds a seam, and nearly busted through there. If it wasn't for Roderick Teamer, he might have Again, taken that knowledge. And Vic Farley called and said, hey, can you take a look at this kid? And tell me what you think. And it worked out flag down as they get it to Dorch at the 10. Pass interference, number three of the offense. It's a 15-yard penalty, replay first down. Yeah, he's not in there. Here's Hartman, the blitz was picked up. He finds his man over the middle. And Dorch is down close to the 20-yard line. Big pick up there is P.J. At the end of the season last year. It doesn't. 20-yard gain. That throw a little low. What an excellent catch it by was Dorch. A great catch. You're right. Bachman single covered at the bottom. In the middle. And a heavy shot delivered. Guess who? Roderick Teamer is bringing it. That was Dorch now. He got yes. hurt in the Louisville game. He hurt did. His intestines. See if we can determine more what happened and take a closer look. Teamer reads this all the way. A good tackle leads yeah. with his shoulder. Yep. Was not targeting. Wasn't that's perfect textbook what they want to see. Mm -hmm. And comes in there and makes Dorse pay for coming across. And that is a good sign. We'll come back out live and you'll see it. Yep. And now it forces a field goal attempt by the true freshman who missed his first one. Missed it right. 34 yard attempt. The punter, Don Maggio, holds. Skiba, good snap, good hold. This one's true. There you go, young buck. Come back. Put the miss beside you. Make a kick. For He's against Cincinnati. Gain a four on that play on the ground this time. This is Doffy. Little hop step there. And gave way to shove. And Corey Doffy doing the job there. Moving the sticks, Jay. Good luck and back. From Texas Tech. They played three games there. And he's stunned on the track. So it was this one. He dropped it right in the bucket. Did Bates put that one in the bank? Touchdown to Wade. 74 yards. Well, here she go. All they do is get the defensive back to stutter and stutter. Um, Enclaude takes it to the house. He did. Second connection between those two. Beautiful play. Two lane by four. Gain a three. Here's Hartman. Good throw. He's got Surratt. He has had a big night. Has saved. Surratt breaks away. And he's out to midfield. Tenth catch of the night. About 135 yards. We got an injured player down for two lane. But that's what Jack Curtis told us. Here goes Hartman sliding. Got a pickup of eight. Touches the ground. Third and two. Fires. Catch made by Surratt. First down. Save Surratt. Lucky 11 now in terms of catches. First down. Got to get at least half of this. Hartman time. Fires. Got a man. And he's got the first down. Just to the 20-yard line to Greg Dorch. The playmaker, he's a tough receiver. Game of 11, Hartman stands in to the end zone. Bachman comes up with it. Bachman with his second touchdown grab of the night. Are you kidding me? This kid's a freshman. 20-yard 20 20 pass <laughs> from second half here. Now he, yes. he needs to answer. He does. And he's got to give a, give a punch back. Goes here. Clewis has got it. Post of white shirts. I mean, Clewis is still going. They got a first down on that. He got a lot of help. Thanks. Four stop. Zeke Rodney applying the pressure and. Might be a host yeah, call. Yeah, exactly what I was thinking, Coach. Personal foul, face mask, grabbing the helmet opening, number 93 in the defense. So 15 yards, penalty Rodney. automatic, first down. Kalad goes in motion. Banks using him as a decoy. He might have given it to Ankalad there. So on fourth and seven, Zachary Block will put the foot into his eighth punt of the night. And they do it again. Outstanding work. Yep. Hartman's looking that way. Now he's got to check off. On the run, he's got it. Can he get it there? He did. A drop in the bucket. 
This kid is putting some kind of show on. Burch's his third career game with 100 or more. He hasn't played in a whole lot of games. He's a youngster. Flag comes in from this side to our right. They get Hartman. Joker in a football. Personal foul, face mask number 26 of the defense. 15 yard penalty from the previous spot, first down. Hartman. Finds Bachman's got both the Wake Forest touchdowns. Throwing it, Dave Clawson's freshman quarterback. Back to the air again. A slant there, the catch is made. I mean, it's a slant. Steven Claw, his first grab of the night. Hartman's got it, trying to slip it through there. But, won't. but he gets the first down. So much with him, especially for the length of the season. Trying to get away. the freshman just trying to do too much is he down no the knee doesn't hit the ground oh. and he throws the interception and Tulane now they have an opportunity with the ball to try and go back and get the lead made a huge mistake and gives Tulane an opportunity he does indeed Banks to the air he's got his man on Kalad that's him Kalad with a monster night Stopped there by Jasir Taylor, gain of 21. They need the 48-yard line awake to convert it. Banks is going to get it. Ton of room. He's still on his feet. Jonathan Banks down to the 36. First down is the green wave. Rolls. And that'll be the late, late game on our air Saturday night. Banks, a lot of pressure coming. He can't get out of it. They brought the kitchen sink there and got him. I think he punt it down, try and stop him. Well, Banks is going to go for it. Pressure, now he's got a little room. Can he get away? Still on his feet. Banks side steps the sideline. He stepped out. But he got, the first he got down. it, yes. He needed to get to the 26 yard line. There. By Banks, right there. Rodney's got to make that play. And then right here. Taylor's got to make that play. Banks finds a way to get the first down. And it's a good call to go for it on fourth down. Ten play of the drive coming up. And that didn't quite work. And Bradwell got crushed there by Yarberry again. Just to give your kicker an opportunity to tie this game. See what they do here. Banks. Side. Stay in. No. Darnell Mooney was trying to tightrope the sideline like Banks did on the last fourth down attempt. In the game, and the clock moving. Well, his kick is up and good. That was an excellent kick because the hold was not a good hold. Here's Banks. Trying to put a drive together, get him down there to get some points. Flung out of bounds there with Jasir Taylor. And just Chuck tearing on the line right down to the sideline there. It's Darnell Mooney stopped in motion. Bradwell, the big foul, takes it, gets the first down. Getting ready to roll on here. Darius Bradwell. Down. 90 seconds remaining. Banks all day. Flings one. Caught. Mooney, heavy hit. Oh, did Darnell. Play clock under 10. Game clock down to 50. Banks got time, gets open, fires downfield. Too low on the throw, though. Was looking down there to his main man on Kalad. Wake Forest tied up 17 apiece. Here goes Hartman. Gives it off. Shifty moves there from Colburn. And yards, but the, the seconds are more important than the yards. Here's Hartman. Good protection. Got a lot of room. Got to get out of bounds. He's got the first down and gets out of bounds with 16 Sam seconds Hartman remaining. Bang. Storch in the slot, and they're content to just run the ball and go yep. to overtime. Going to over. No, he fumbled it, but Colbert comes back. Oh, my goodness. As it was Zachary Harris. 
that came up with it there. Number 22. And that ends the fourth quarter and ends regulation. Don't land on the ground, but I am going to ask for your call now. Heads or tails? Tails. Tails is the call. Tails never fails, Ben. That's right. And it is a tails. Ryan Anderson <laughs> called it right. Wake Forest has won the toss. I'd like you to go on defense first. There you go. Yep. Which end of the field do you want to play in? Spin around, gentlemen. This play of the first overtime. Banks. Double move. Flag flies. That's going to come back. Banks. Trying to get back there. He has no idea. There's flags everywhere. Three back. There's multiple penalties. It's holding is the first. Yeah. So they went for the hero shot. Personal foul. Hands to the face, number 57 of the offense. It's a 15 yard penalty, first down. Wow, just the one. Noah Fisher, the grad student from. Banks stands in down the middle. Wade was there. And Here's Banks, fourth and 25. Bashup coming after him. They get it away. Hit it. Hit the oh, dropped it. Picked up Hutterson. Play still alive through it to throw it to one of the linemen. And Banks comes in and cleans house. Doesn't matter who gets no, it. That's it the end of yeah, that's their possession. Wake Forest ball. This defense to come in and make a big play. The big easy. Hartman on the run. Nobody's open. No, nope, nobody is open. He is not afraid. Sam and that's something they're probably going to talk to him about as he goes along. He can't take shots like that, but he has no fear in his game. It's part of that. Wake Forest can win with a score here. Carney's got it, gets outside. Carney's got the first down, so the drive stays alive. Wow, get an interception. I don't expect him to throw the ball at all again. Yep, right to Carney. Carney down inside of the five. Tough, hard nose running. Keys made the stop. And just come in and kick the field goal. Hartman calls for it. Carney plowing ahead. And he's down in the vicinity of the one. Hartman gives off to his former high school teammate. And Carney is the end. No signal yet. There it is. Touchdown. Kay Curry. I'm trying to go in and kick a field goal. That's going to be on the field stands. It is a touchdown. That is the end of the game. Wake Forest wins it on the one-yard touchdown run by Kay Carney. They come through in the first overtime in the bottom of it. And the Demon Deacons off to a 1-0 start this year. Tulane out of the gate, 0-1.